Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas. I know I did. Um, I want to just do a quick little project share. This is just going to feature one die from um, Scrap David Designs. This is going to be in the new uh, January release that will be available January 1st. So um, I wanted to share this with you, show you what it looks like. So this one is called the Heart Mini Album. Here is all of Erica's um, social media and the, the website and all that kind of stuff. So this is called Heart Mini Album. These are the pieces that you'll get. So I'm in love with this one already. Okay, so here's your base piece. Um, this is going to cut out. This won't be hollow. This will be whole. So this will be um, the... Um, you know, the um, scalloped edge with little hearts. Okay. Um, this is a stitch piece that you will cut out to layer on top. If you want to do that, you could just leave this plain too, like this. Okay. This will cut out a layering piece if you want to layer it. This is the piece that you would need to make the shaker if you would like to make it a shaker. Okay. So you can also use this piece not just to make a shaker, but you can also just use it to, um, you know, like decorate, to kind of make a, a line around your edge. You can use it like that too. So anyway, this is the piece you would use, and it's stitched to make it if you want to make a um, a shaker. I didn't make the one I'm going to share with you a, a shaker, but I will make a future one. Okay, now this piece, I love this, and I've done this before without a die. Um, but this makes a pocket so in its stitch so it will just fit right on there to make yourself a pocket if you would like to okay I've done this before where I just cut out another one and I just cut it off <laughs> and make a pocket out of it but this is the actual die that's rounded and everything to make a pocket so it's really cute okay and then it also comes with a bow okay so you get this scalloped edge bow here's these pieces okay and that it's all stitched and then you get um, these layering pieces also so you can layer it up. Let me see, let me move these out of the way. Okay, so you have your piece like this and then these pieces can layer on top of these. Okay, just layer it up if you want to or you could just make it um, just the scalloped edge or you can just, you know, put it together without. So that's what that is. Okay, and then you also get these, which are some cute little, um, you know, like candy hearts. And they say faith, wish, love, and happy. So really cute, and they're stitched. Again, she's left these together so they're not all singles and getting lost <laughs> in your die stash. So that is nice. So I didn't use this piece on this, but <clears throat> anyway, um, let me show you what I made. I think it turned out so pretty. So this isn't an album. This is just the top piece. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of times when I first start out, I make the piece and I don't, don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it. And so I just make the piece and then decide later if I'm going to make it into an album, if I'm going to add more pieces. Um, this is going to be, this would be a great one too for a tag flip. Uh, hint, hint, anybody who's in a tag flip swap, um, like I am, <laughs> this would be a great die to, to get to do that with, okay? Because it's handy because it can, you know, you don't have to do the whole book like that, but you could do a couple pages in this re really cute heart. And then what's nice about it is it has a pocket so you can add in your goodies and stuff like that. So, and this one I added just a couple of ticket um, ephemera from the collection. I attached a little um, paper clip right there. Um, <clears throat> I, I do have the pocket there. I lay I um, lined the top of the pocket with some two different trims right there. Um, here's the bow and I attached the layering piece to the bow before I folded it. Um, you can also you know like make the bow just with the base scallop piece and then make the bow again with the layering pieces. Um, and then just like glue them in the center. Um, and it will give you kind of like a more full, um, you know, layered up bow. So, and then I just put a 
enamel dot from the collection in there and a couple more here to accent. I have this cute little pick that I've had in my stash forever. I think it's a Pebbles from Pebbles and I just put a little um, uh, pom pom on there and then I just attached this garment pin with some cute little um, sequins just hung on there just for, you know, just some more added interest. So that is that. So I love this. Um, like I say, just a quick little share. I'll be back with some more. I'm just getting into um, um, doing some projects. My craft room is a total mess. <laughs> and I'm still trying to I'm trying to get all my Christmas cleaned up and put away so I can get my Valentine's out. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to do it all at the same time and take care of life things. A lot of stuff going on right now. So, anyway, a little behind the curve as to some of the design team members, but... I'll get caught up. Anyway, this is my first little share, so be ready to pick up these um, on January 1st. I'll make sure that I link um, Erica's website, my affiliate link, and my list my discount code, which is Polka10, so you can save some money when you check out if you decide to purchase anything. Um, I won't be able to have the links to the dies, obviously, until um, they're available, so um, what I usually do is um, I'll come back and do the links for you on the day of the release so you can, you know, find them easily. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon with another cute project. Love all these. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.